should be a good matchup here tonight. Lately, the recent history between these two teams, it's it's been fairly even. Now, last year, Frontier won in a runaway over in Orange. We had that game here on Bear Country. But uh, Mahar, in recent years, they've had their fair share of victories. Frontier is the home favorite, but uh, we're expecting a decent game here tonight. Well, and again, look at last year's game, and it was Aaron Landry with 243 yards and three touchdowns against the Senators. Uh, Worthley chipped in with uh, a pair of scores as well in that game. So, yeah, you take a look at what it, the recent history has been, what the Frontier Red Hawks do, and that is play good defense and run the ball. Uh, the Mahar Senators have struggled against teams that run the ball again against Greenfield. We saw R.J. Bird run for 230 yards, uh, 28 carries, three touchdowns for him in that game. And Nate Hazleton ended up with 67 yards on 15 carries and a score. So uh, Mahar susceptible on the ground. The Red Hawks, that is their strength. So, you know, that really is what it will boil down to ultimately. Mahar has won three of the last five meetings. Most recently, two years ago, a 27-20 victory right here. They also won in 13 and in 12, and again last year in Orange, a big victory for the Frontier Red Hawks. Absolutely beautiful night for football here in South Deerfield. Nice and clear, a little bit chilly, true football weather. I tell you what, the kids that had to play day games last weekend, that was, that was rough. That was up near 90, high humidity. But late September and little nip in the air, feels good. I woke up, it was a little chilly this morning. You had the fan in the window and all of a sudden it was like somebody flipped a switch and now what uh, fall is here. And yeah, you're right though, Jeff, for a Friday night football game and under the lights, uh, perfect temperature, sun just setting right now, lights are on, beautiful setting here at Frontier. All right, Frontier has a teed up on their own 40 yard line. Doing the honors, kicking. And it's a short onside kick. It is covered up by one of the up men for the Mahar Senators. 76, Adam Clement. And it will be first down in 10. as Adam Clement who actually jumped on it. So nice field position for the Senators. And they come out first and 10 from their own 45 yard line. Well, you wonder if the Red Hawks were trying to rip a page from Greenfield just a couple weeks ago. They onside kicked, what, five or six times and just stole the ball back. They turned it over four times on onside kicks. Pistol formation. Paul will give right up the middle. No, it's play action. Passes on the right side. Wide open on the right side. This is going to go to the house. Wide open, taking it all the way in. Touchdown, Mahar. First play of the game. Wow, six to nothing. Jordan DeRosiers takes it all the way in. 55 yards in the play fake. I bought the play fake. I'm looking at Garrapi looking at the thing, and he's coming out of the backfield with the ball. And all of a sudden, there he is, Sam Paul. Again, he's a senior, six feet tall, about a buck sixty. But now we're walking backwards with this ball right now, and I don't know why, because that was a good throw, it was a good catch, it was in the end zone, and I didn't see a flag. But we are walking backwards, so the hold on one second here. We're coming way back with that football, and that's uh, wave that touchdown, wave that great play. That was really, I mean, opening opening play of the game, and wow, that. Could potentially be deflating wow. for the Mahar Senators, but they have to shake that off. It's going to be second down here. The play was blown dead at the 45-yard line. The play so now they, they, yeah, they need to put it back to uh, to first down. The play was... What does that mean? So there was no flag? Well, now they're putting it back to first down, so they're saying that play... Wait, that, play that play just never happened. There was no penalty. I never saw a flag down. They're saying first down on the side. They're saying the play was blown dead before the play began, therefore no play. It's first and ten. I don't know, Jeff. I I, uh, I didn't hear a whistle, to be honest did with you. Did not. I did not either. Again, pistol formation. And this time the handoff will go to Garapi on the right side. Cuts it back to the inside. Finds some space. Makes a nice game. Frontier was John there Garapia. defensively, but John with those quick feet. A quick gain of about six up to the 49-yard line of yeah. Frontier. And again, this kid is 6'2". He's 180 pounds. And, uh, from what we've seen, he plays a little bit bigger than that. But he's got a nice ability to be able to cut back into the middle of the football field. And it gets a little dangerous in there, but he's not afraid to get up in there. And again, about five on that play. So second and five now here for the Senators. And they go back to Gareppi on the right side. Not a lot there. Tries to cut it back, but nothing doing. Frontier with a great job that time. They bring him down for no gain. Third down coming up. Matt Carlson on a stop. And the tackle was made by number 63, down, Joe Hildreth, senior lineman. Third down and four for Mahar from the Frontier 49 yard line. Senators moving right to left here in the opening quarter. 
Charlie Barnes comes to the near side left. Coming in motion is DeRosiers. They fake it to him. Paul will take it himself, and he's very close to the first down. That last little outstretched arm may have gotten him enough. It's going to be very close. The yeah, officials go, yeah, he got it, first and 10. Well, good run again by the quarterback there. And, you know, we were just talking about John Garropy a little bit. He had 358 yards last year for the Senators. Of course, they graduated Malik Adams and Clay Richardson off of that squad, both 1,000-yard rushers. So far this season, Garropy 223 yards on the season through three games. First down and 10, Mahar, the ball right at the 45-yard line of Frontier. Out of the shotgun, really, it's a, what we call the pistol formation. And up the middle, Senny, nice gain. Down to the 40-yard line, quick gain to five. It'll be second and five. Yeah, again, yeah, Senny, he runs a little heavier. He's 5'9", 210, just a junior. Actually, Garropy and Senny both just juniors. And that there is just a uh, fullback taking a ball straight forward for five on first down. And, boy, I'll tell you what, as a head coach, I like that. 8.26 to play here in the opening quarter. We are scoreless. We thought it was 6 nothing, Mahar. It was for a second. The first play, but the play that never happened. From the 40, second and five. They give again to Senny left side. He gets ridden down from behind. Tackle made by Joe Hildreth. Gain of a couple, be third down. Yeah, nice job by the Red Hawks staying in their lanes. Got a gain, we'll call it three yards there on that carry for Senny. So a couple carries, eight yards for him. But Red Hawks, nice job bottling that play up. Good job wrapping them up, tackling. So now third down and two here for the Mahar Senators. Pretty big play here, opening drive for them. 7.42 to go here, first quarter. 37 yard line to Frontier. Two receivers to the near side left. One up top on the right, low back is Garapi. He will take it. Cuts to the left side. Has the first down. Still going Garapi inside the 35-yard line. And the drive continues. Yeah, we'll give him 10 yards now on three carries. I like what they're doing, Sean. You know, again, it's their strength. You know, uh, it's what they've been doing all season long. And it's traditionally over the last few years. That's, uh, you know, they're a running team. And when you got a kid like Garapi that can carry the ball like that, uh, load him up. Hugo Frost and DeRosiers will be split wide to the right. Slot right is Senny. The lone back is Garepi. They fake it to him. Quarterback will keep it himself. Not great timing on that play, but still a gain of a couple. Second down and long coming up. We hadn't talked about Hugo Frost yet, but he's a senior. Been playing ball here for a long time. Mahar, 6'5", 175 pounds. He certainly stands out when you see him at the line of scrimmage. He's a big kid, and certainly Sam Paul will be targeting him at some point during this game. Jordan DeRosiers will be split to the right along with Frost. And play action, quick pass on the right side. That is the play that went for a touchdown a moment ago. It's going to go for a first down inside the 15-yard line. And the Senators in the red zone now. They executed it perfectly and again. To tell you what, and they used... Hugo Frost to open that up. You could see Frost all the way on the outside, cut back in. It wasn't quite a pick play, but it allowed the other receiver to curl in behind him and be wide open in the flat. Nice easy pass for Sam Paul. Big gain, first and goal for the Senators. Six yard line of Frontier. Very impressive drive as the Senators look to go up here. Paul takes it. Gives to Gareppi on the right side. Looks to turn the corner, stretching towards the goal line. Did not get in. Close. Very close, just outside the goal line. It'll be second and goal. So Sam Paul does complete a, his first pass of the game. His first actual pass went into the end zone, but apparently there had been a whistle and the play had been blown dead. First play of the game, the Senators were in the end zone from 55 yards. That got blown dead, and the Senators have gone on a nice march since then. So that did not deflate them. Second and goal here for the Senators. Garepi, the lone back. Rozier split wide to the left. Defense. Senny to the right. Defense. Defense. And the give to Garepi right up the middle. A huge hole. And did he get in? He, no. Very close. He's down to the one. They're saying it'll be third and goal from the one yard line. Yeah, his knee had to have been down at that point. At this point, I don't even if you'll back to him. I think Sam Paul with the quarterback keeper right here. He's just outside the goal line. We got his big old center moving up to the ball right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Yeah, you have two shots here to get one 
Lonely Eye. Paul will give it in the middle. Did not get it in. That was Gareppi again, but he got his legs undercut from beneath him. Now it is fourth and goal from the one. Well, so now here you go, Red Hawks, again. You give up a big play on that first play that doesn't count. Now the Senators have marched down 55 yards, 50 yards or so inside your five. Fourth down. Huge play for the Red Hawk defense here. Ball is uh, one, maybe, maybe closer to the two yard line now. Fourth down, our first really big play of the game and the defense chant for the Red Hawk home crowd here, and it's a big crowd here. Paul takes the snap, the give up the middle. Did he get in? Touchdown. Senny, Senny is into the end zone, six nothing Senators. Uh, again, just that straightforward football right there. They tried Gareppi, he couldn't get in. The Red Hawks held on third and short, but Senny Again, he's kind of the more battering ram style runner. 5 9, 2 10, straight forward. Bulldog and three carries for him, 10 yards, and he is into the end zone. So the Mahar Senators, a little justice for them. First play of the game, whistled dead, it goes into the end zone. Taken away from them, but they got it right back. And now they'll split the receivers on either side for the two point conversion. Paul fakes the handoff and he'll try to get it in himself. He got knocked around a little bit. Tried he got to in, that's a great job. He did. He did get in. Nicely done by Paul. We'll take a timeout. Four minutes, 13 seconds left to play here in the first quarter on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shelburne score. Seven, Nick Sharp to kick off for Mahar. Twenty-four, Bryce Douglas. Twenty-eight, Aaron Landry back to receive for the Red Hawks. Broadcast booth in South Deerfield. Jeff and Sean, Dave back in our Greenfield studios. Very impressive opening drive for the Senators, and they lead Frontier by a score of 8 zip. Yeah, again, a little bit of everything. Sam Paul, a 22-yard uh, pass completion. He ran the ball a couple times for seven yards. It was Gareppi with six carries, 18 yards, and it was Senny that found the end zone. He had three carries and 10 yards on that drive, so 55 yards on their opener. Nick Sharp has a teed up for Mahar on their own 40-yard line, putting it away to the Frontier Red Hawks. The big guy. It's a ground ball, basically, to one of the frontier up men across the 30-yard line. A nice return up close to midfield, still going into Mahar territory, still on his feet, and finally knocked out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Tremendous return there. Garrett DeForest sets him up nicely. Hey, you know, everything about what he just did was smart, but he used his speed, and then he used his vision. Uh, he cut it back, and he was able to get away from people, but then up the sidelines, just followed his blocks and really made the maximum out of that play that anybody could have. Nice job there. First and 10 Red Hawks from the 38-yard line of Mahar, trailing 8-0. And now we have a brief stoppage of play. I'm not sure why, I think we're good to go now, yep. Matt Hildreth, behind center. Three men in the backfield behind him. He's back to pass on first down, heavy rush. Lets it fly late. Short pass, did he catch it? No, he trapped it. So it'll be second down and 10. Intended receiver down there was Kiernan Freeman. Well, we talk about the Red Hawks running all over people lately, and then Matt Hildreth comes out, and they try to throw it down the field on first down, and that was darn near completed for a first down. It would have been caught right around the first down marker, but referee right there said it was not caught. And actually, the tight end Cole Price was open briefly, but he hadn't really completed his route yet, so but for a brief moment, he was wide open. Second down and 10. 
Aaron Langley comes in motion. He'll take the pitch on the left side. And he brings the ball down to around the 34-yard line. We'll give him a gain of about four there. Second, uh, third down coming up. Uh, again, Aaron Landry has just been one of those guys that we've just really enjoyed watching develop. And last year, that kid had some huge games. One over at Franklin Tech. And uh, it was just uh, fun to watch. And he's that kind of athlete that he can have a breakout game like that. Another great year for the Red Hawks last year. A little bit of a speed bump when they lost here at home to Turner's Falls, a game where several players got injured. Yeah, it was injuries, really, yeah. They were able to come back and beat Mohawk and then lost in the playoffs. Now it's Steven Wordley with a first down. Carry him to still going inside the 20 yard line. First and 10, Red Hawks down at the 16. Right, 20 yards Good right there. Man. And uh, Bryce Dobin still hasn't Curry carried the ball yet. So a couple of carries now. Landry got four yards, but Wordley rips 20. A lot of quickness through the middle there. You could just see some missed tackles and guys just weren't expecting that kind of speed from him. Again, he's a senior this year, 5'6", 176 pounds. Quick as, quick as a cat. 16 yard line of Mahar. First down and 10. And the inside give, it's going to go to Landry again. Landry with another nice gain inside the 10 yard line down to around the eight. Second down coming up. This was Bryce Dobis that scored the touchdown that won that game for the Red Hawks. He hasn't had a touch yet in this one. Landry's 10 yards, Worthley's 20 yards, three carries between the two of them. Fullback here is the former Pioneer Panther, Dobis. He has yet to take it. And they're going to give it. And that is Landry on the left side. Not a lot there this time. Third down and short, right around the five yard line. First down. Is right around the four. So. We're going to mark them back a little bit, actually, yeah. Jeff. So we're going to look at it third and a, a good four or five here for yeah. the Red Hawks. Of course, this is four down territory. So uh, two plays here to try to get the first down down around the five yard line. Yep, they're at the 10 now. So we'll call it third down and five. 155 to play here in the quarter. Mahar eight, frontier nothing. Hildreth. Inside give, that's going to go for a first down and more. Wordley into the end zone for the touchdown. Quick burst of speed and then got basically tackled into the end zone. It is 8-6. Uh, it really is what happened, Jeff, as he had burst through the line. The linebacker grabbed a hold, but again, the kid is strong. He's not that big, 176 pounds, 5'6", but strong. And he dragged a tackler who was trying to bring him down into the end zone as he got pushed into the end zone on the tackle. So. Worthy to the end zone. And they're going to go for the two-point conversion. Unsuccessful, though, on the run. As the center did a good job of snuffing that out. Timeout on the field. 143 to play here in the first quarter on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield. Jordan DeRosier, number 20, John All right, Frontier kicking it off again. Low end of her end. Gareppi from his 20. Takes it to the left side. Does a great job of evading tackler. Still going up across the 35 to the 36. John is so elusive. You can tell he's got uh, a really high football IQ, too. Uh, again, and the vision. You see him looking upfield and making cuts and anticipating tacklers. And kid's an athlete. Took that ball over the 30 yard line, over the actually 35. We'll call it about the 36 yard line for the Senators to start their second drive of the game. They scored on their first drive. Twice, actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the first play, which uh, was waved off, and then uh, a drive right down the field. 55-yard drive. They took it in on fourth and goal. Frontier comes back to score. They failed on their conversion. Coming in motion is DeRosiers. He'll take it on a sweep on the right side. Turns the corner and brings it up across the 40-yard line. We'll mark him down around the 41. Gain of close to five. Double carries now for DeRosiers. Five yards on the ground. He had no gain on his first carry. Leading ground gainer uh, right now. Well, Senny's got three carries for 10. John Garrapi, six carries for 18 yards. We will try to keep it updated on the other games involving our local teams. Tech at Greenfield. Uh, Athol hosting East Hampton. And there's this one here. Frontier, Mohawk, and Pioneer play tomorrow. And the handoff now goes to Lucas Senni who scored the touchdown. A gain of three up to the 45. About a yard shy of the first down. Not bad. Couple of carries there. Nine yards. Third and oh, third and a yard here. Just has to get to the 45. Well, got to get almost to the 46 for the first down. The ball just on the other side of the 45. Well, uh, 
Mahar coach Chris Bailey, who played here, of course, he called his games here. Very he's, good, uh, yeah. Just kind of spreading it around, using a lot of his different weapons. Oh, Sunny, yeah, not yeah, that one. This time, the Red Hawks came blasting through. As soon as Sandy got the ball, he got swarmed over by four separate Red Hawks. In among them, number 79, Matt Carlson. Going to lose about three or four yards on that play, so... Should bring up a fourth down here, and you would assume the Senators would punt. I'm not seeing the yard marker come up here. There we go. Yeah, fourth and four, fourth and three or four from the 42. Timeout. Game. Yeah, timeout on the field. It's a full break. We'll step That's aside. The uh, end of the quarter. End of one here Senators in South Deerfield. Down the, the car quest of Greenfield, Again, South Deerfield, and Shelburne. And Sean, Mr. H the Hubie of Hubies. I understand you got a prime rib special going this weekend, hey, huh? Nice got a 16-ounce uh, prime rib pop on by. While it lasts, we're going to do it tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, maybe some sandwiches with the leftovers for Sunday. But hopefully we'll run out. So get on over there. It's going to be delicious. All right, fourth down and... Mahar lined up to run a play here. A long snap count. They are fiercely trying to get Frontier to jump. They're going to have to call a timeout here. Yeah. Timeout on the field. We're going to keep it here. Obviously, they came up as to run a play. They wanted to get the easy first down because it was fourth and four. A five yard penalty would have been good for the first. And now the Senators will bring the punt unit out. Yeah, it's a play that very seldom works, but it's always worth giving a shot. You know, if you got a timeout, you don't mind burning there. And. Uh, to me, I could just kind of tell the offensive line hadn't really dug in, and uh, the quarterback was trying to kind of sell it, and when he's trying to sell it, you know, the linemen aren't going to move, and uh, that's exactly what they were just trying to do, get the quick uh, five-yard penalty. Now they're going to have to punt. Garek B to punt. Landry back at his 25 to get it. Snap goes back, and the punt away. They punt it away from Landry, and... Kind of takes a little bit of a sidekick out of bounds. 33-yard line or so, first and 10 for the Red Hawks. Not terrible right there. Again, you keep it away from a, an explosive returner. And they're going to be right around, looks like their own 35-yard line where they're going to spot this ball. Yeah, right on the 35, so not a bad punt there. So we've seen Landry, we've seen Worthley, we saw an attempted pass, which was nearly completed. No Bryce Dobis so far, he's the fullback, former Pioneer Panther, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago for a team that went to the postseason, lost to eventual Western Mass champion Turner's Falls. And on first down, quick little hitter up the middle, and it is uh, Aaron Landry, and he's got the Aaron first Landry down up to midfield. Three. Quick gain of 15, a little bit more than that, actually. They're going to mark them into Senator Same territory. Give him 16 on that one. I wasn't even sure Landry had the ball. I thought possibly Hildreth still had it. That little spin move. Yeah, a little spin, quick, uh, quick inside handoff. And then the pile just kept going. It ended up being Landry with the ball. So four carries now, 24 yards for Aaron. First down and 10 for the Red Hawks. The Mahar 49-yard line. Stephen Wordley, he will try the right side. A short gain of about three from the 49 to the 46. Second down and seven. Although we saw something similar to this last year when it was, uh, we saw Worley and Landry in the first half and, and then they busted out the big guy in the second half against Franklin Tech. Ended up with three 100 yard rushers in that game. Something Turner's Falls was able to do earlier this year. Yeah, and second down, this is gonna go for big yardage. It's going to go for a first down and more. Landry inside the 25-yard line. Man, is that kid quick. Just so fast. We'll see where they mark it from the 49 all the way down to the 24, looks like, maybe. Yeah, 20, you call it the 23-yard line. Give him 26 on that carry for Landry. Five carries now, 50 yards. These guys are uh, really piling it up here. Uh, and this is only their second drive, but they just keep spreading it around. Now a timeout called on the field. This will be taken by the Mahar Senators. Looks like it's going to be a quick 30-second timeout, so we will keep it here. We're down to 9.32 to play here in the first Turn half. Mahar leading 8-6. They scored on their opening drive. Capped by a two-yard run by Lucas Senni. Sam Paul, the conversion run. And then Frontier came back worthily from 10 yards out. The conversion run failed. So that's where we sit right now. That's a good timeout right there, I think, Jeff. You know, again... Uh, the Red Hawks have gone on this little drive, and all of a sudden Landry rips you for 25 yards. Don't step up and let them do that again right away. Take a timeout, recollect, and uh, good timeout there for the Senators. 
Handoff now will go to Wordley, and he takes it up the middle, and he cuts to around, around the 16-yard line or so. And we have second down coming up. Call it second down at about three. Yeah, I guess they give him seven on that carry. So now Worthley 40 yards, Landry 50 yards, 90 yards on the ground. And uh, Hildreth is 0 for 1 passing. So all the yards on the ground right now for the Red Hawks. Worthley comes in motion. He will take it. Not a lot there, though. The Senators are able to keep him away from getting the first down. First down markers at the 14-yard uh, line. We'll see how close he got. Three for the Red Hawks. Uh, yeah. Third and about three for the Hawks. Yeah, so right back to the no, line of scrimmage. Hugo Frost with the tackle. He's had a couple of tackles here on the last few plays. 8-6, Mahar here. 8.35 to play here in the half. Hildreth out of the shotgun. And he will give it to Wordley on the right side. Pushes the pile forward. Still going, and he's going to dance into the end zone. Touchdown. And Frontier takes the lead, it's 12-8. That's worth the price of admission right there. I mean, Stephen Worthley just takes the ball into the line, gets a block, but then all of a sudden just squirts out the other side and into the end zone, untouched the last four or five yards. What a great run there, six carries now. 50 yards on the ground and a pair of touchdowns for Stephen. They will go for two. And it ends up on the right side, looking to turn the corner and rumbling into the end zone. The two-point conversion is good for Garrett DeForest. Timeout on the field, 8.26 to play here. First half, our score on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 14 and Mahari. All right, Frontier now with their first lead of the night, 14 to eight. Line drive kick, and it's taken on the right side by Gareppi. Now heads to the left, looking to get a block, but unable to get downfield. Nice downfield coverage, McMillan on the stop. It'll be first down and 10 for the Senators right near their own 30 yard line. Uh, again, the Senators have moved the ball themselves here a little bit tonight. Garepi's got 18 yards on the ground, Senny nine, the Rosiers has five yards. Sam Paul's run the ball a couple times for seven yards and he's completed his only attempted pass for 22. So they have had some success against this def defense tonight and they are on the scoreboard. They're down 14-8. First down and 10 out of the shotgun. Sam Paul and the inside give to Garepi. Brings it right around to the 30 four yard line, 35 yard line, second down coming up. That was like a slower version of the uh, RJ Bird spin move there, John. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a couple of times the other game there where that kid would actually spin into the tackle. So like you're getting ready to make the tackle and all of a sudden you got his back coming at you and he's spinning away from you before you can even get your arms around him. Oh, we might have a couple of score updates here too. Oh, yes we do. We'll get to that in a minute. Greenfield Tech. In battle, and now taking it on a pitch to the right side or a sweep to the right side and losing his footing was DeRozier's. He'll give him a couple of yards on the carry. It's going to be third down in about three or four here. Nice night so far for Joe Gamash's kids, Franklin Tech on the road. Yeah, looks at a couple of touchdown runs by Spencer Talega. Three yards and two yards, 12-0. Yeah, eight minutes left in the first half. So they have kept the uh, potent Green Wave offense out of the end zone so far. Nice job by Tech. Hit off on the right side to Gareppi. Short of the first down, maybe only a yard if that. And it'll be fourth down now. Well, the Hawks have really done a pretty nice job bottling him up tonight. Eight carries, just 24 yards for John Gareppi. Three yards per carry. Now, last time they had the ball forked on right around here. Actually, they were a little further down the field, out near the 40. They tried to draw them offside. Now they'll just go into regular punt formation. Gareppi to hit it. And Landry back it around his own 35. I think Frontier had to call a timeout because there was a guy late getting off the field. That would have been a too many men, and Mahar timeout snapped it. By the yeah, oh, sorry, right. you know what was the Senators called? It? I saw a Red Hawk sprinting off the field, and it looked to me they were a little disorganized, but... 
So Sam Paul now will come to the sideline to talk to his coach, Chris Bailey. And we'll see, Landry is set to go back. He's gonna line up right around his own 30 or 35 to get this boot. Yeah, they will punt. The yeah. referee will do the honors. I wouldn't expect any shenanigans here this deep in your own end. They're down by six points and plenty of time left here in the first half. Snap goes back to Gareppi. Red Hawks coming through. DeForest almost got there. And the punt will go away from Landry. Again, it takes another sidekick, and Mahar runs it down there. Frontier. Donaldson will put it down right around the 37 yard line. Hawks First and 10 Red Hawks. Ten. You can always tell the Red Hawks are such a well coached team on plays like that. And I don't know that I've ever seen, I say, a punt that ends up bouncing off a guy's leg because he didn't, you know, didn't get out of the way. And, uh, the Red Hawks, very Mahar, rarely does that happen to them, and now Mahar Centers have taken another timeout. And it's a full break, will step aside. 6.33 to play here in the first half, and on the car quest of Grief. Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report. We'll get you more score updates. Again, last check, Franklin Tech 12, Greenfield nothing at Vets Field. First down and 10 for the Hawks. And on the pitch, this Aaron looks Landry like Aaron Landry. Stop it is Landry. Center. Brings it out to the 45-yard line. Quick gain of eight. They've really had a lot of success early on with just that little inside five handoff, five. particularly to Aaron Landry. Six carries now, 58 yards on the ground for him. And they bring him back a yard, actually, to the 44-yard line. Call it second down and four. They bunch it in. And this is Landry again, and Aaron has the first down up to the 49-yard line. They'll move the sticks. And even again, at the end of the run, he ends up diving forward and always picks up the extra yards at the end of the run. So a couple of runs there, another first down for the Red Hawks. First and 10 at their own 48-yard line for them. 5.55 to play here in the first half. Frontier 14, Mahar 8. Hildreth brings him up under center, calling the signals. Pitches it to Worley, then an inside give to Reverse. Landry, comes back. He's going to get a first down and more. Just tripped up, caught from behind. Inside the 15-yard line, first and 10, Red Hawks. That's the other 48 to the 14, so 36 and two. 38 yards on that run by Aaron Landry. Well, it's amazing. I know Greenfield, a good defensive team, they've given up two scores to Tech. They held Frontier to 14 points through regulation up at Vets Field. It's just been a crazy year for high school football. It really has. What you expect has not happened yet. The give this time is to Wordley on a pitch. Steven going down. He's inside the 10 yard line in the five yard line down to the two where it will be first down and goal. Yeah, two from the 10 just about cut there. He did get the first down though. So it'll be first in goal. 60 yards now for Worthley. He's been in the end zone twice already tonight. He's got both of the Red Hawk scores. Wouldn't be surprised to see him feed Landry here. And Bryce Stobis is out of the game right now. And it is going to be Wordley, and he's going to follow the right side of the line into the end zone for a third touchdown of the night. Wow. You just don't know where the explosion's going to come from, and that's the hard part about defending this running game. And again, we talked about Aaron Landry. Seven carries, 91 yards in this one. Wordley now three touchdowns, eight carries for him, 62 yards. Again, Matt Hildreth, the quarterback's only attempted one pass. That was incomplete. The Red Hawks lead 20 to eight with the extra points pending here. Corbin Blight is now the fullback. And it's gonna be Wordley, little spin move on the right side, easily into the end zone. The two point conversion is good. Timeout on the field, 4.57 to play here, first half. Car quest of Greenfield, stop. Frontier kicking off again. They have scored 22 unanswered points here. Let's open up a nice lead. Here comes the kickoff. And picking it up at the 20 yard line is DeRosiers and he's gonna get swarmed under down there, try to keep it alive, but he is not going to get any return at all. Knocked back inside the 30 yard line in fact. Back closer to the 20 and with 4.49 to play here in the half. Brandon Trestwell on a stop. For here the come the Senators after that opening Senators. drive, Sean. They haven't done much at all. No, again, the Red Hawks defense has played a little bit better as well and I think that's part of it, but yeah, the opening drive, and again, if you weren't listening, the first play of the game, the Mahar Senators threw it 55 yards, went in the end zone, touchdown, but no. Apparently there'd been a whistle right before the play began. They did take that 55 drive, uh, 55 yard drive over several plays into the end zone, ultimately, and they did lead eight to nothing, but 
Yeah, a lot of defense right now for the Red Hawks. Where they're going to get stopped in the backfield again. Yep. Sam Poe <laughs> gave it <laughs> on a handoff to Gareppi, and he got caught by Stephen Wordley for a loss. So they're going the wrong way here. Yeah, going to lose three on that. So now just 21 yards now. Gareppi on his nine carries. Yeah, the Red Hawk defense definitely getting stronger as this game goes on. Clock in motion for 22 to play here first half. Again, our Greenfield Savings Bank high school football halftime report is coming up. Sam Paul, two receivers on either side. Play action pass, sets up, has time, zips it on the left side. Great throw. And a sliding catch on a perfect throw. It's going to go for a first down. Barnes on the reception, Charlie Barnes. And the ball's going to be back out across the 30-yard line. 37 yards now. That's a 17-yard, uh, excuse me, 15-yard connection there to Charlie Barnes. 30 from the 34-yard line. First down and 10 inside of four minutes to play. Mahar now, if they can get down the field, score before halftime, make it a one-score game at halftime. Best-case scenario for them. As they've been completely outplayed here in the second quarter. Barnes will come split to the ride right uh, along with DeRozier's. St. Paul long snap count. Good play action, heavy rush this time. Throws it deep on the left side, looking for Gareppi. It got oh, thrown out of bounds, however. And it'll be second down and 10. Sam Paul completed both of his first two pass attempts for 37 yards. That one uh, was not going to be a catchable ball. It was thrown well behind the receiver, who was still running down the sideline and actually thrown out of bounds as well. So two out of three passing now is the senior Sam Paul. Second down and 10 from the 34 of Mahar. Senators working left to right here. And the handoff up the middle goes to Lucas Seni. Nice gain Lucas up to the 40-yard line. We'll give him six right there. Third down and four. Obviously, Sean, given where the frontier. game is right now, big third down play here. Big third down play. And I don't know if you go on fourth and real short with this much time. We'll wait and see what happens here. But a big third down play nonetheless. Three minutes and counting. Uh, excuse me, three minutes and 10 seconds and counting. Yeah, by the time they snap, it will be down to three minutes or less. Two receivers to the near side right, Frost and DeRosiers. Receiver up top on the left. They fake the handoff. He'll take it himself. Quarterback draw, oh, first oh, down. Gary. And Paul still going up to midfield and brings it into Frontier Territory. It'll stop the clock to set the chain for the first Gary down. Frontier 47-yard line. Well, you could see originally Sam Paul wanted to take that ball and go right, but then the just kind of spun back to the left, a little more open over there, and he was able to make a nice run for a first down, 18 yards on three carries for Sam Paul. Oh, here comes the next train here. It's coming by again. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, R.J. Bird, 33-yard run. Franklin Tech up 12-6 right now over Greenfield. On first down, this is Gareppi on the right side. Little Gareppi stutter step, and he brings the ball to the 45-yard line. Look at him a game of about two or three. There really wasn't a lot there. That was all John. Uh, yeah, and again, he was able to make a couple of yards out of what looked like he would, might even lose a yard. And that's just one train that's going backwards. There's one train, <laughs> and it's going the wrong way. Didn't the other train go the other way? Yeah, yeah the train went the other way. What's yeah. going on What's right going now? on here? I want that Vermonter to go by. They don't blow their horn when they're going backwards? <laughs> they blew it a lot when they were going forwards. I think they know we're on the radio here. Maybe. Yeah, so I think they're listening. Out of the shotgun. Second down and seven. Trying to pass, running out of time, and still evading the sack. Paul still going oh into big trouble. Oh Finally boy. sacked all the way back oh at the 35-yard line. That is going to go for a 19-yard loss. And it was fun to watch. I mean, Sam Paul just Time bounced out. off a guy, spun, went backwards, and then all of a sudden looked like he was going to throw. Timeout Mahar on the field. Ultimately, the Red mm -hmm. Hawks got to a 20-yard loss on the play. We'll take a timeout here. A minute 36 to play here in the first half.
Coming in motion, DeRozier's from left to right on third down and very long. Here's Paul, throws it left side, under throw, looking for DeRozier's down there at around the 46 yard line of the frontier. It'll be fourth down and 25. So they will in fact have to punt it away with just a minute 30 left in the half. Yeah, and even if that ball had been caught where the receiver was sliding, he was still a good 10 yard shy of the first down. So nice try there by Paul, two of four now passing for Sam. And that one was incomplete. And again, it would not have been good for a first down, regardless. So Reppy to punt, and Landry back at the 30 to get it, but they've kicked away from him every time. Snap goes back, they're gonna do it again. Little pooch kick. Landry will take a look, but he'll let it roll out of bounds. Good punt. Yeah. And with 125 left here in the half, and very, very dynamic runners in the backfield, here come the Red Hawks leading 22-8. Right, and you would think with a minute and a half left, you might have to start throwing the ball right now, but not necessarily, as you just said, for the Red Hawks. They've got a bunch of guys in the backfield that can take it to the house on any given play. So far tonight, Matt Hildreth has just uh, attempted one pass that was incomplete. So the Red Hawks have only thrown it once tonight here in the first half, minute and a half to go. First down and 10 for the Hawks from their own 35 yard line. Coming in motion is Wordley. Back to pass us. Hildreth sets up, zips it on the right side. That is going to be caught for a first down to the 47 yard line. On the receiving end is Kiernan Freeman. I'll tell you, everything about that play looked good. The quarterback, Hildreth, looked good when he rolled. He threw a strike that the receiver caught it, and then he took a hit. Right in, the, right in the side, too. He was lined up and able to hold on to that football. 12-yard gain, first down, Red Hawks. Yeah, took that shot right to the uh, right to the bread basket, yeah. as we used to say. Nobody says that anymore. Uh, no, not really. On first down, the inside give is going to go to Bryce Dobis, his first carry of the night, and he's going to get a first down to the 40-yard line of Mahar. 52.4 seconds left. They'll, they'll stop the clock to set the uh, chain for the first down and now a timeout called by Frontier. We will keep it here during this timeout. Oh, hey Bryce, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Good there to you see man. you. Glad you could make it. 13 yards on his first carry. Yeah, obviously had he stayed at Pioneer, he would have been the feature back. And he's down here one amongst others, but I'm sure he's very happy to be part of this program. School choice student, obviously. And it was a, uh, you know, there was talk, uh, you know, we heard the rumors over the summer that he was going to come to Frontier, but then there was a, an issue. How close to the opener would he be declared eligible to play? They had him out there, though, on opening night. Week one, he was able. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he chose his school, came here, and uh, and as you said, yeah, he could have stayed at Pioneer, and he would be the guy. He'd be the main man, and uh, here he's not necessarily. He might be uh, in a particular game, but... As we've seen here, Landry with seven carries, Wordley with eight, and uh, that was Bryce Dobas' first carry of the game, under a minute to go here in the first half. First down and 10 from the 40-yard line of Mahar. Hildreth rolls out, throws back to the left, looking for... Oh, what a great throw. Would have been gone for a touchdown, but it is dropped down there. And it'll be second down and 10. And the best thing Hildreth did on that was he hung in there. There was somebody coming in, and he knew he was going to take a shot. As soon as he threw that football, he's not a big guy, 5'7", 150 pounds. And again, he hung in there knowing he was going to take a shot. He threw a really good ball, just missed it. So Kiernan Freeman, who made that great catch and held on to it after getting hit, couldn't corral that one. And the carry now on the left side, right up the middle, Aaron Landry. Now 39 seconds left, did he get the first down? He's close, but no, Frontier though will call the time on anyway. They would love to get up to 20 or 30 points before halftime here. It is a first down, time out on the field. We will keep it right here. However, I wanna let you know we have a live sign up location uh, that we had today at Children Farm and Garden trying to get you qualified for the 5K, the 5K giveaway from Kringle Candle. So go to our website, bear953.com. We'll let you know where the next sign-up location is. I can tell you it's a week from tomorrow. That's, that, that's your clue, but we'll have the information for you on air and online. And remember, the texting component, you have until midnight tonight to keep texting the word of the day. We'll try to qualify that way. Okay, the quick timeout's over now. First down and 10. Ball just inside the 30. And the handoff is going to go on the right side. 
down to the 25 yard line and Frontier's gonna have to call Charlie another Barnes Quintana with 30 stop. seconds left. Is it just me or did the temperature just drop about 15 degrees in the last <laughs> minute and a half? It's going to be in the 40s, not while we're here. Later on tonight will be in the 40s with some rain. Great. And rain to begin the day tomorrow, but by It's the cold, come on now. <laughs> But by the time we uh, by the time we get to the kickoff tomorrow up in Northfield for one o'clock, rain should be done by that point. So we should have a decent weather day. But highs tomorrow only in the 50 shot. It, it you know, uh, we it was uh, we played golf a couple of days ago and it was hot. And uh, all of a sudden now, it, and again, just within the last 10 minutes, it just went from not so bad to just kind of chilly right now. So uh, yeah, the cold weather is definitely coming. But hey. Seasonally appropriate oh, and I like it, football yeah. weather. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I like it when it's uh, the weather Second that matches the season. I don't, I don't like 90s uh, in late Only September. It was I, weird. I don't like it when it's only 60 in June line. and July. Yeah, either. it was weird. It was weird. Yeah, but uh, again, yeah, a little, uh, little late summer, and now we're, we're going to crash right into fall and probably short fall into a winter. All right, second down now from uh, just outside the 20 yard line. They think it to Wordley, big rush. Hildreth takes off on the right side, looks to turn the corner, does so, has the first down and runs it out of bounds wisely. 22 seconds left here in the half. It'll be a first down and 10 for the Hawks. I'll tell you, somebody had a shot at him in the backfield and then he was able to get away. Number 52, wherever my Maha Ross, there we go. We can credit the right guy there. Quinn Gervais. Yeah, I mean, he was the guy that was right there in the backfield and almost had Hildreth wrapped up for a loss, but First down now for the Red Hawks. 12 yard line of Maha. They already lead 22 to 8. Back to pass, throws of the middle, tip, Pit. and intercepted. Yep, Hendry. Sure and his knee was down, but that will go for a pick. And we're going the other way. A huge, huge break for the Maha Senators. That was a big play for the Senators. Again, if the Red Hawks score here, they're up 22 8 going in. Uh, they extend that out to 30, 30, uh, uh, 28 or 30. That's big trouble going in. But yep. uh, the Mahar Senators, big interception there. So Matt Hildreth, they'd been pretty conservative throwing the ball. He was just uh, one of three. That was his fourth pass attempt and his first interception of the game. So Senators. only 16 seconds left in the half. My assumption here would be just a quick knee here. Get out of the end zone. Yeah, well, you're about four yard line here. Yeah, they, right. this is a little, they're, they're lined up in that pistol formation. You gotta be really careful here. They're, really, they're gonna pass out of the end zone. Deep ball right side That's looking there. for Frost. That's He's there. got him! Up to midfield with nine seconds left. Shows you what I know, Sean. Uh, again, wow. we talked about Hugo Frost and we said <laughs> Sam Paul is going to take a shot at this guy at some point. 47 yards later out to the 50 yard line. Okay, we'll see if they just spike it here to stop or if they call it. You know, they have to wait for the chain game to come up. Actually, Mahar did call a timeout. They got it out to midfield to Hugo Frost. Timeout passing from center. inside your own five He's yard line. And I thought, no, you don't want to do that at all, but they made it work. You could see the pass pattern. Frost was running, and then the ball that was delivered by Sam Paul, and just, it was halfway there. I went, oh, that's going to be good. He was inside the defender. The ball was on its way, and Hugo Frost gets pulled down right with the nose of the ball on the 50-yard line. So I tell you what, if Frost had been able to wiggle free at midfield, he would have been gone for a 96-yard no touchdown doubt. reception. No doubt that almost happened, but <laughs> 47 yards to the 50 is a nice play for the Senators. Again, just 9.3 seconds left in this first half for them, though. Yep, that's it. They only have time really for, well, yeah, for a play. So uh, it, maybe it's, two, maybe. Yeah, it's the longest of long shots. Well, yeah, nine seconds left. They'll be passing, obviously. If you can pass to the flats on, the, on either side and get 10 or 15 yards down, Get out, of, uh, get out of bounds to stop the clock and then set up for one last play. Yeah, or just take the shot right to the end zone and you will probably run out of time at that point, so. Oh, well, you know what they, watch this, Sean. Frontier did not pick up the guy. There's a guy that's gonna be wide open on the left side to Rogers. Oh, yes, there is. He oh, no, there, no, there's linebacker, there's a corner. Oh, they did, okay. There's a corner, yep. I thought he, cause he never joined the huddle. Yeah. So I thought that they lost him. All right, back to pass now, throwing it. Still going at him. Deep on the left side, looking for DeRozier's incomplete with three incomplete. seconds left. DeRozier. Incomplete down at the 15-yard line, but a, a nice shot down there, and Paul can really throw that football. He can throw the ball well, well-designed play, and again, they had the one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. We thought for a minute maybe the Mahar uh, receiver was uncovered, but the Red Hawk corner had come up to that side, and 
Man-on-man -man coverage, well-thrown ball, took a good shot. Now 3.6 seconds, so this, barring a penalty, will be the last play of the first half. Wolfie Mahar, you'd love to throw that down there and have the defensive interference call and get one more play. All right, second down from the 50. Back to passes, Paul. Deep ball, left side, and this is airmailed well over That's the intended the receiver. Flag on the play. There's a flag there on the play. There is a flag, okay. In the backfield. So well, again, as you mentioned, Sean, barring a penalty. Uh, if it's holding against Mahar, that will be obviously waived. That would have been the last play. If it was against the Red Hawks, then the Senators will have one more play. Yeah, it and was against Mahar, I can tell. It looks the way everybody's the exiting the field, but that's yep. the case. Stop block. Yep. And it is declined, and that's it. Halftime here at Frontier Regional in South Deerfield. Our score on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, Frontier 22, Mahar 8. Stay tuned. The Greenfield Savings Bank, Bear Country High School Football Halftime Report is coming up next.
Huh? What? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You're up there anyway. Come on. Frontier Regional Marching Band in the direction of Matt Sherrill. Nice job, man. Two eight Frontier, our score here as we get set for the second half. You've been listening to the Bear Country High School Football Halftime Report brought to you by Greenfield Savings Bank. Second half kickoff is next on Bear Country 95.3. and Aaron Landry drop back to receive for the Red Hawks. By Nick Sharp kicks a line drive really basically into the ground and that's covered up by one of the up men, Matt, uh, check that, McMillan. And he jumps on it uh, right around the 37, 38 yard line. So opening drive of the second half for Frontier basically had their way after their first drive didn't go too far. They uh, got a lot done in that first half uh, exclusively on the ground, for the most part of the ground I should say. First down and 10 from their own 38. Stephen Wordley, opening carry. 
And he takes it deep on the right side. First down yardage up to midfield. A quick gain of 12. It'll be first down and 10. Yeah, just the quickness right there. The first step. And all of a sudden, that kid's running by you. Worthley. 10 carries now. 78 yards. Of course, he had the three touchdown, three rushing touchdowns in the first half. Aaron Landry had eight carries for 101 yards in the first half. He did not find the end zone, though. For midfield, first down and 10. Bojoth under center. And the pitch, this time it's gonna to go to Landry. Aaron Landry inside the 45 yard line to the 44, quick gain of six. Second down. Yeah, this really, that's stop. just too easy right Green now. If you're the Mahar defense, you really gotta get up inside there and just that little inside handoff. Again, the first step so quick for Wordley and Landry. They get through that line, break a tackle, and it costs you five or six yards. Freeman to the near side left. They give it to Wordley on a pitch. Up the middle, now to the left. First down and more, still Wordley going. And, and he is strong for Ryan his size Donaldson. inside Perry the 30-yard line of Mahar, and the drive continues. Yeah, so give him another 20 yards on that Mahar carry. 10 carries, 128 yards now for Landry. Again, interesting, we've only seen Bryce Dobas carry the ball once here in this game. One carry for 13 yards for the senior, Dobas. Freeman will line up as a tight end left. Now he'll go split wide to the left. Players jumping, no flag. And the pitch now will go to Landry, Landry left side. Landry. Not much, breaks a tackle though and tiptoes oh, along boy. the left sideline. Boy, they had him for a loss. And instead he's going to get big yardage inside the 20 yard line. Uh, that's the kind of play that you just look at and, and you, we had him, you know, you had him. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, he gets one little block and then he gets skinny and then he's tiptoeing down. Yeah, and that goes for 11 yards right there on a play that really looked like he might gain a yard or two. From the Senator 19 yard line. First down and 10 from the 19, 9.15 to play third quarter. Frontier 22, Mahar 8. Hildreth brings him up. Quarterback under center. And it's gonna go on the right side to Wordley. Turns the corner, Wordley flag comes in. Flag Brent, the very end, he went right towards the Johnny stick. And what do we got? Probably a hold out there. It was yeah. nice that Wordley tried to get inside and then he couldn't, he actually bounced outside. His quickness would have got the first down marker, but that's gotta be a hold against, yep. or an illegal block, there you go, against the Red Hawks. You know what, that would be the first assessed penalty of this game, I believe. It, it is, yes. Um, yes, because the play at the end of the first half was uh, was declined. Yeah, so. So first penalty of the game. Very clean game for, uh, really for any time of the year, but particularly in uh, September. Yeah, a couple of minutes into the uh, second half here. First and 18. So five yard penalty. And that will bring the ball back to around the 23-yard line. First down and 15. Freeman to the near side left. Three men of the backfield. And the pitch this time is going to go to Landry. Aaron still on his feet, dragging his tackler into the end zone. Touchdown! 23 yards for Landry. It is 28 to 8. I'm sorry, did I say Aaron Landry hadn't found the end zone yet? There he is, Aaron Landry into the end zone. 25 yards later, 153 yards for Aaron Landry today on 12 carries. He's into the end zone for a touchdown. Worthley with three touchdowns and 89 yards for the Red Hawks, and the beat goes on as they extend their lead to 28-8 now with the extra points pending. They will go for the two. They are two of three so far on their conversions. Pitch goes to Wordley, tries the right side, tucks it in, and he is unable to get in. He is stopped shy. Timeout on the field. Teams come back off field. 8.36 to play third quarter. Car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is now Frontier 28 and Mahar 8. And we're back here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast booth at Frontier Regional. Frontier now leading 28-8. And the kickoff comes down. And it's DeRosiers. And he makes a nice cut left side to midfield into Frontier Turretor inside the 40, inside the 30, and finally knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line of Frontier. Tremendous return by DeRosiers. And Mahar will be working on a short field here. Jordan just as a junior. 
Just three carries out of the backfield tonight for him for seven yards, but what a huge play there to breathe a little bit of life here into the Senators. Down 28-8, but starting this drive just outside the 25-yard line of the Red Hawks. So big opportunity here for the Mahar offense. Trailing now by 20 points, 28 unanswered points for the Red Hawks. Enough goes to Seni over left tackles at the first down and more just bulldozing his way inside the 15 yard line or close to the 15 anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give him 15 on the carry. So he just doubled his output. Lucas Seni 30 yards now on seven carries. He'd had six carries for 15 yards just before that. Of course, he did have the Mahar Senator touchdown in the first half. Down to the 12 yard line of Frontier. First down and 10. First and 10 from the Frontier 13 yard line. And the handoff again will go to Senny. He'll try the left side. Shorter this time, but he brings it down to around the six. And we will see how close did he get. Not a first down, but. Fourth, we had a stop. Second and five. Yeah, can get a first down at the two. Senny now has more yards than John Garepi. 10 carries, 27 yards for him. Senny's got 35 now. Second down, they go right to Senny again, a short gain, leans forward, got it to the five, but he will be about three yards shy of the first down, third down now coming up here. Yeah, so give him 37 yards. Let's see where they end up marking this thing. They're marking up about a yard, yeah, give him two. So yeah, third and about four yards here. Again, definitely uh, four down territory for the Senators. They can get a first down, uh, what about the two, three yard line looks like there. Yep. Marching to the north side of the field, that's the right as we view it. Third down here. Senny and Garepi in the backfield. Coming through, they fake it. Up the middle, Sam Paul into the end zone, untouched for the touchdown. 28, 14, two point conversion coming up. Uh, we talked about Sam Paul at the top of the show. He had three rushing touchdowns, the quarterback for the Senators coming into this one. Two of those against the Athol Red Raiders in that win. And now Sam Paul into the end zone here. 24 yards on four carries for the quarterback. And I'll tighten things up here a little bit. He will go for two. They give it to Lucas Senny. He tries the left side. He did not get in. Stopped shy by about a yard. Six minutes, 50 seconds left to play here in the third quarter on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is now Frontier 28 and Mahar 14. Sharp to boot it again. Hits that ground ball up to the 38 yard line, taken by McMillan, he'll take it to the left side. And he's across the 40, across the 45, still going midfield and then knocked out of bounds he's just inside of Mahar territory. He ran probably the equivalent of close to 50 yards for about a 12 yard return. We've seen some really good returns tonight though. Again, a good headsy return by the young man. Takes it out to the side of the field where there are fewer people. and. Ends up actually had somebody right on his backside that dove at his ankles. He was able to regain his balance for an extra five or seven yards at the end of that run, at the end of that return as well. First down and 10 for Frontier from the Mahar 48 yard line. They lead 28 14 after the Senators just scored with Sam Paul. Stephen Wordley, and then an inside give to Landry. He'll bounce it to the outside, uses a stiff arm, and makes that nice gain and gets knocked out of bounds. Brings it inside the 45 of Maha. Uh, just another example of an Aaron Landry run that looks like it's gonna go nowhere and then the kid ends up with six yards, 159 yards now for Aaron Landry. Keeping an eye on two other games here locally, our last update at halftime, Franklin Tech 20, Greenfield six at Vets Field and our last update from Athol, Athol 17 and East Hampton six. Yeah, Maher was winning this one, that all three of those games would be upside down right now. Just two out of the three. Not what we thought was gonna happen. The Red Hawks holding serve here up by two scores right now though. Second down and four, and he got player. Yeah, he got touched. Yeah, uh, flag, flag encroachment play. on the defense. So they're gonna step out five yards Both against the centers. And centers. this should provoke a first down. It's yep. second five down and about penalty. four and a half. So. They've been close a couple of times. You can see the linebackers just trying to duck their heads in there and just try to get the offensive line 
a little off kilter and the timing was off and actually somebody had come through and then uh, when you make contact with the offensive lineman that's where the flag comes in the play gets whistled dead and first down Red they Hawks. did get the first down on the five yard penalty so just two penalties assessed in this game one five yarder against the hawks and that one there against the senators 38 yard line first down and 10 it's steven wordley he'll try the right side and runs into a wall of Mahar Senators who do push him back, but not before a gain of two or three. It'll be second down. Yeah, we'll give him a couple of yards there. Let's call that three, so 92 yards now for Steven. 11 carries, 92 yards. Of course, three touchdowns all in the first half for Steven Worthley. Clock in motion, 5.22 to play, third quarter. Frontier 28, Mahar 14. Lots uh, of exciting plays here tonight. I was going to say, the Senators really need to come up with a stop here. Down by two scores. It's imperative. Hildreth. He'll take it himself. And still going. He took about four or five centers to bring it down. Didn't really get that much yardage. Just got it to the 35 or so. It'll be third down here. So I'm sure Frontier would go for it on fourth if they don't get it here. So two chances for the centers to get the ball back here. Uh, it was, they were just trying to catch Mahar off guard there. Hildreth had not really carried the ball out of the backfield. And we're talking about the quarterback for the Frontier Red Hawks. On that one there, they just tried to sneak him through the line and... Maher had nothing doing with that, so third and long here for the Red Hawks. And the pitch tail Landry this time keeps the legs chugging, has the first down, brings it down to around the 25-yard line of Maher and a new set of downs for the Hawks. Well, again, that's all Aaron Landry. That kid should have been stopped after a two- or three-yard gain. Instead, he squared up his shoulder pads, got low, blasted a linebacker, and gained another four or five yards at the end of the run, and that's what he does. From the 25 of Mahar, first down and 10 for the Red Hawks. Freeman comes to the near side left. And the give on the right side to Wordley. And, uh, they say Landry had it, but I thought it was Wordley. No, it was Steve, it was Stephen Wordley actually. 29, yep. Yep. Loss of a yard, second, lost and 11. second down and eleven. Inside of four minutes to play here in the third. Frontier by 14. Red Hawks ran for 390 yards against Palmer last week. And they're getting up there here uh, uh, tonight. Looking at Landry's numbers, 243 and three touchdowns last week. Right now he's sitting at 165 and three touchdowns. Or excuse me, worthy 91 yards with three touchdowns. Landry with the 165 Hildred yards. Hildred takes the pitch back. He's got the first down to more. Flag down. This is going to the end zone for a touchdown, but it's coming back. There's a, a Red Hawk standing there with yep. his hand straight up in the air saying, I didn't do anything. And That's the guy. The, <laughs> the, Always. Guy, the guy you said he didn't do anything is the, the guy, guy with, with his something. hands up saying he did nothing wrong. That's the guy. And now. that's going to come back, and that's going to be the second penalty against the Red Hawks in this game. It's going to wipe off a 24 yard touchdown run by Hildreth. So the ball now will be brought that close to the 30 yard line here. Just outside the 30. Called the 32 yard line. Back to pass, Hildreth. Oh, he's got him. Deep ball on the right side, looking, tipped and intercepted down inside the five yard line. Number five. Looking to get it down there to Freeman. It got picked off. That was Hendry again. If Hildreth had thrown that ball right away, he had the receiver behind the linebacker, but he waited just a second. He took that extra step, and by the time he launched it, the defender was in much better position. He was able to actually bat it to the other guy from his team, and that's the guy that came up with the interception. So not a badly thrown ball. Good pattern. It would have worked. He just needed to get it out of there just a hair quicker. Yep. Hendry batted it to Barnes, and Barnes was the one who gets credit for the INT. Second interception for the Senators defense and now first down and 10 but they are deep in their own territory but a chance to stay in this game now. And they will give it to Senny for a short gain on the right side as they have gone away from Gareppi at this point. Yeah, it's really been Senny for the most part here in the second half. They're only gonna give him a gain of a yard there. Well, the Frontier defense had done a nice job bottling up Gareppi, 10 carries, 27 yards, and I think all those came in the first half. I don't think we've seen him carry the ball here in the second half. 
Uh, we have not. He has not had his mitts on the football yet. He's in the backfield right now. Senny will be lined up in a slot left. And it will be John this time. And just a short gain, maybe a yard. It'll be third down at about eight. 2.20 to play here in the third. Frontier leading by 14. That's funny when the Senators had the ball around their own four yard line with, what, 20 seconds to play in the first half. They took a shot downfield. Hugo Frost caught a 47 yard ball that got him out to the 50 here. A little more conservative with the play calling. Just a couple of runs up the middle. Third down and long here now. Senators, a big play here for the Red Hawk defense. Get a good stop. Sam Paul will drop back to pass, looking left, throwing left, incomplete, oh, threw it behind the intended receiver. It goes out of bounds, looking for Gareppi. It'll be fourth down, an obvious punting situation and really good field position coming up for the Red Hawks here. Yeah, there's uh, no way you'd do anything other than punt right now. And as a matter of fact, the punter's gonna have his heels on the back of the end line. So one of those situations, if the snap goes awry even slightly, uh, this could end up in a safety for the Red Hawks. The deep man Landry, he's only back at the 30 yard line right now for the, the Red Hawks. So they're gonna end up with good field position. Ooh, snap goes into the goal line. They do get it out there. There's a line drive kick. What Landry a great will kick. let it roll out to the 45 yard line. That's the best be result. Yeah, absolutely. Other, other, other than a fumble line, by the Frontier Deep Man, that's the best result they could have gotten. Uh, nice low kick, stayed low, rolled. Uh, Frontier never had a chance to return it, and they'll start this drive on their own 45 yard line. So, of all the ways that could have gone, that one went pretty good for the Senators. All right, have we heard from uh, Mr. Campbell? Lately? Let's see what's going on over there in Greenfield and no. Any texts? None. Nothing. Nothing. Well, we are getting updates fast and furious there for a while. You know, that train's going the other way. Are they just going to which way they want to go on that thing? Just backwards, forwards, whatever? Athol led 17-6 at halftime. It's now 17-14 as East Hampton has scored and gotten the two-point conversion, so a little tighter now in Athol. Aaron Landry on Aaron first Landry down brings Gary. it from the 45-yard line. Down to the 38 yard line or so. We'll see where they actually mark him down. Yeah, 38 yard line. We're going to gain about six. Second down coming up. We were just talking about Matt Zielinski up at Mohawk a couple of games ago. That looks a lot like what he used to do there. Just that little inside handoff. You get a good block up inside and you get the foot speed to get through the middle. That's exactly the play that Landry runs well. This is Wordley on the right side. Has the first down to Moore on the right side. He may be gone. 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Stephen Wordley, fourth touchdown of the night. It is 34-14. You know, I, I don't think that that's the first time we've ever said that. It seems to me that we have said that before. Stephen Wordley, four touchdowns tonight, and that run was from, what, the 32-yard line. So get him over 100 yards for the game now as well. Let's see, 123 yards for Wordley, four touchdowns. And now the Red Hawks have opened it up a little bit. 34-14 with a minute and five seconds to play in the third quarter. So Mahar gets the interception and in deep. And a chance to go down the field and make it a one score game. Instead, they go three and out. Wordley scores his fourth. They now go for two. Wordley gets it right back to the quarterback. And Hildreth will extend. No, well, he went down right around the half yard line. No Two point conversion, no good. Timeout, 105 left to play, third quarter. On the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it's now Frontier 34, Mahar 14. It's broadcast booth here, Frontier Regional, Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert, Dave Reno, our studio producer. 34 14, Frontier. They give it on a handoff nice reverse. reverse to Gareppi out to midfield. It's still going, and John brings it down to the Frontier 41-yard line. Another nice return for Maher. The last time they got a nice return, they went right down the field in, into the end zone for a score. Yeah, yeah, we've seen a bunch of good returns from both teams tonight, and that one right there, they reversed the kickoff, and Gareppi ends up with the ball on the left side, and again, the Maher Senators put themselves in good field position inside of Frontier Red Hawk territory, but now they're down by 20 points, 34-14. Ball's at the 42 of Frontier, first down and 10. Jordan DeRogers to the near side right. Hugo Frost lined up on the right as well. 
They give it to Gareppi. He'll sweep to the right. And John with some renewed vigor in his step. That nice return, a nice game there on first down. We'll give him about four or five there. Second down coming up. Yeah, hadn't seen an awful lot of him here in the second half. All total 12 carries, 33 yards for John. Down to 38 seconds left here in the third. Frontier leading by 20. They have outscored Mahar by 34 to six since that opening score by the Senators. Coming in motion, and the handoff will go to Gareppi. Cuts to the outside, had the first down, then leans forward and keeps that first down. Nearly had it, lost it, but then he got it back. Clock is out, they'll reset the chain first and 10 from the Frontier 30. Right, nice job. Duck into the outside, and then he kind of peeked back in just to see, and you're right, it looked like it right about the first down marker and then he decided he was going to try to cut back and time out on the field oh into the quarter end of the third here in south deerfield and our score on the car quest of greenfield south deerfield and children's scoreboard it's frontier 34 bahar 14. First down and 10 for Mahar from just inside the 30. Play action, deep ball on the right side looking for Frost in the end zone, tip incomplete, a flag play in play the end zone. But Sean, which way are they gonna go? Uh, it's gonna go against five. Sam Hebert, number 32. He had his back to the ball as the ball came down towards Frost. He was in a position to make the catch and Hebert was not turned around. That should be defensive pass interference. Yep, did not play the ball, played the receiver instead. Now the officials are still talking about this here. You know, anytime the football doinks you off the back of the helmet, you're not looking at the football. So if you're not looking at the football, that means you're not making the play on the ball. You're making the play on the receiver, and that goes against the defense every time. So let's see where they place the ball here. It is going to be right around, let's see, 15-yard line, I believe. Yep, just inside the 15th. So from just inside the 30 to just inside the 15th. First down and 10. Three receivers to the near side left. Shotgun formation. They take it to Gareppi. They swing. Passes on the left side. Well over the head of the intended receiver. The Rogers will be second down and 10. So what we got going on over here. Greenfield open the third with a 15 play drive. 9.21 off the clock. Phelps a three yard run. Bird the two point conversion run. It's Tech 20. Greenfield 13 after three quarters. At uh, 20 to 14 I believe uh, after the two. 20 to 14 now. Good one over at Vetsville. We will keep you updated. And a good one in Athol. 17-14 favor of the Red Raiders at last check. We'll keep you updated. Thank you very much Colleen. It goes to Gareppi on the right side, Gareppi breaking a tackle, they got popped at the end. Just a short gain, it'll be third down and long here. And we're into the fourth quarter now. Frontier clearly in control here, but a chance, just a slight chance for Mahar to potentially make a game of it here. Oh, again, John Gareppi's running hard, it's just the Frontier defense, tough to run against him. 14 carries, just 45 yards. They could make it a two-score game if they can score here, and then who knows? All right, three receivers to the far side right. Lone back is Gareppi. Play action, back to pass. Sam Paul throwing back towards Got the left, him. looking for Frost into the end zone. Got him, Got him. touchdown! Hugo Frost on the receiving end of a touchdown pass. Six more for the Senators. It's 34-20. Second catch by Hugo Frost. We talked about the big tight end. 6'5", 175-pound senior. That was Sam Paul's 10th pass attempt. That's his fourth completion. And he's got 94 yards through the air and now a touchdown. It's 34-20 now with the extra points pending. Mahar will line up to go for two. I'm giggling because of the uh, Frontier defender trying to uh, defend 6-5. Nah. Hugo Frost, Tough. easier said than done. He, he tried. They go to Gareppi up the middle. Oh, John did carry. not get there. Two con no point conversion, no good. Timeout on the field. 9.55 to play in the game. And our score on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is Mahar trailing Frontier 34-20. 9.55 to play in the game. Frontier 34, Mahar 20. 
Sharp to kick off. And they're gonna go for the onside kick. Onside Great kick. job there by the Frontier up man. They just jump on it. Nicely done there. The That's Hawks. Nathan Austin. Austin. First down and 10 First Red Hawks, Red Hawks right near midfield. Let's see if we see a little bit more uh, Bryce Dobis here now. So 34-20, 10 minutes to play here in the football game. Frontier with a fairly comfortable lead. They've led throughout, well, they were down eight nothing, but Steph Storm back and led since then. And Bryce Dobis, just one carry for him, 13 yards. It's been all Aaron Landry and Stephen Worthley. Freeman to the near side right. And the pitch is going to go to Stephen Worthley. And not a lot there. Got it to around the 50. We'll give him one or we'll give him two. Second down and long. One of his shorter carries of the night. 13 carries now, 125 yards. Landry 175, so 300 yards rushing between Landry, Landry and Worthley. Has Steve scored tonight? Uh, sure. He might have scored one, two, three. Yeah, four times, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, four. Just want to double check. Yeah. He's got it right here. Cuts to the outside, turns the corner. Look at that, just makes it look so easy. And the defense was there, but he gets the first down inside the 40-yard line. Well, you can stick it out all you want, but he still he still gets the, the, the job done. So quick, and, and just the ability, the vision, and to see back. I mean, they can cut that back, and they can just continue it forward. They're not afraid to run you over. Uh, yeah, so right now the Red Hawks again. A lot of yards last week against Palmer, 390. Right now they're sitting on uh, 175, 275, uh, just over 300 yards rushing the ball. First down and 10 from just inside the 40. Yeah, that was against the Red Hawks. A moment in the backfield there. Yep. So that'll mark him back five yards. The thing about some of these premier runners that we've seen here at Frontier, talking about Wordley and Landry, RJ Bird up at Greenfield. Certainly Marcus Sanders is a budding star over at Turner's Falls. The thing is, is they have moves that are just instinct. You can't, you can't really teach it. They're just sort of, their body goes faster even than their brain. They just, and when you, a lot of times great players in football, they can't coach. They just, they just do. They just do. Yep. <laughs> That's the thing. We go to Aaron Landry now, bounces to the outside. There's a wall there. Turns, cuts it up, left side. And he's got a first down and more. Still going. 30. 40, I got pushed out at the 20. Yeah, he made it into the end zone. He thought he scored, but he got pushed out of bounds, but he did get the first down. That play was going nowhere. And that's gotta be the frustrating part when, you know, for the Mahar Senators and how many times that's happened tonight where they've had the ball carrier bottled up and all of a sudden he bounces out or in and next thing you know, he's gone. We are down to 8.24 to play here. 34.20 in favor of the Frontier Red Hawks, and Worth. they're getting close to knocking on the door again. Worley's making a run at Landry's numbers. Landry 175, rushing right now. Worley 163. Back to pass, and a designed run by the quarterback, Landry Matt Hildreth, cuts in and gets upended, but nice carry for him inside the 15-yard line. They'll spot him down around the, let's see, 12, 13-yard line, second down coming up. Looked like Hildreth was going to find the end zone earlier in this half, but there was a flag thrown on that play. And Bryce Stobe has come off. He's limping a bit. He's far from 100%. He's been having a tough time out there, yep. so they're going to send out Blight again at fullback, the sophomore. Bryce, of course, playing his senior year. Frontier right back out there now. And the pitch. Steve Wordley, right side. Easy. Waltz is into the end zone. Touchdown number five of the night. 40 20. I, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> that is what happened. <laughs> I've got no more words, Jeff. I have no more things that I can say about Steven Wordley or Aaron Landry that I have not said already. They're fast, they get good blocking, and they've scored 40 points tonight. Wordley, 16 carries, 168 yards, five touchdowns for him. And Aaron Landry, 175 yards on 15 carries. He's found the end zone once. 40 to 20 now, and they will go for the two-point conversion. So the Hawks now, oh, they're going to win this football game now, leading this big. Oh, they're going to, okay. They are going to set up for a kick now. For the first time tonight, Hildreth will kick out of Wordley's hold. Placement down, the kick is up. The kick is perfect. And we'll take a timeout. 7.30 to play in the football game, and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it's now Frontier 41, Mahar 20.
kick now will come to DeRozier. Slips, falls, just jumps on it at around the 28-yard line. So Frontier now will go to three and one on the year, and the lone loss was an overtime loss. There goes my notebook again. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. You got it. And it'll be Chris Collins and myself up in Northfield tomorrow as we get set for the Pioneer Panthers hosting the Mohawk Warriors. We have a touchdown at Veterans Field. We'll let you know who scored. Greenfield trying to come back. They were down 20 to six at one point. Last check, 20 to 14. But that has changed. Play action pass. We're gonna go downfield. That is caught Great up throw. on midfield. Put right on the number. And uh, Charlie Burns on the reception down there. It'll be first down and 10 near midfield. Yeah, let's see, I'm doing math. 111 yards now through the air for Sam Paul. Four of 11 passing and at Vets Field. Bailey Young scores a touchdown for Franklin Tech. Franklin Tech takes the 26 14 lead. So back up now by two scores on the Green Wave. Looking to hand the wave their first loss of 2017. Who'd have thunk it? Well, I'm done predicting these. Yeah, you can cannot, games. right? It's, it's been a little uh, bit of a challenge, shall we say. 46-yard line, first down and 10. It's going to be a lot of passing now by the Senators. Paul on the backfield. has got Hugo Frost, who's caught the touchdown, has the first down, yeah, right sideline, down to the 30-yard line for the Senators, first down and 10. Another, hundred, uh, another 22 yards there, 133 yards now. Sam Paul, five of 12 passing. I would do that all night. I'd do that the rest well, of the night. You just yeah. hit those and they were easy. I mean, you know. Yeah. Time out on the field. We're going to keep it here, however, not a full time out. It was uh, Seth Gawanter, the name I couldn't come up with, the, uh, the other fellow that ran for 100 lar uh, yards last year against Franklin Tech. We talked about Landry and Worthley. Yep. It was Gawanter. He didn't have a carry until the second half. He ended up with over 100 yards in that one. <laughs> That's right. Yep, Seth, Seth and Cade Gawanter having graduated. Uh, Bryce Dobas, the new fullback, replacing him. First down and 10 for the Senators. Ball just outside the 30-yard line. Coming motion is DeRozier. They fake it to him. Back to pass again. And they throw it deep on the left side, looking for Gareppi, underthrown, and it's picked flag, up. Flag down. Flag down on the secondary. Garrett DeForest with the pick, heading downfield, trying to pick up some blocks, does get some. Has it on the right side, out towards midfield, finally down at the 40-yard line. And now we will see about that flag. Yeah, and I am not sure about it. What about, again, another great return, and I INT. And a great return, and let's see what the flags are, though. Actually, you see a couple. There's one where the backfield and the backfield, and there was one downfield as well. I saw the one come late. I am not sure about the one that was in the backfield, though, so let's see how they untangle this. Tell you what, Franklin Tech. Well, we'll see. Well, uh, this DeForest kid looks pretty good, huh? Just a sophomore. Okay, so it was uh, a pair of flags on the Red Hawks. They oh. they took the second one, Roughing which the was a per personal foul. So they'll take that one for 15 yards and an automatic first down. Well, the Red Hawks didn't have a penalty in the first half at all. Now, all of a sudden, five penalties yeah. and 50 yards. They're racking them up here late. Yeah, now. a little bit here late. Senators still only just the one flag for five yards against them in this game. And that will bring the ball just outside the 10-yard line. Outside the 15-yard line, rather. Timeout. Yeah, timeout on the field. We'll take the break. 6.21 to play. Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children's Scoreboard. Frontier 41 in Mahar 20. The Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth here at Frontier Regional School in South Deerfield. We have 621 to play. Frontier firmly in control, but Maher Senators on the march. They have it at the 12-yard line. 
No, beg your pardon, it's just outside the 15. 17 yard line, first down, and 10 after that penalty. You're gonna have to uh, cover the mums tonight, huh? You're gonna cover your mums? You I don't mums? think, well, 45 was the low, so I don't think so. Um, but yeah, we're, we'll, be, we'll be putting the gardens to bed pretty soon. A little chilly right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to keep my gardens, our gardens going yeah. as long as we can, but yeah. it's getting close to the end. Boy, tonight is starting to get a little bitter feel to it right now. First and 10 for the Senators. Senators will send four line. receivers to the far side right. Gareppi in the backfield with Sam Paul. He is back to pass with time, running out of time, running towards the right. Zips a pass down on the sideline. It's incomplete near the goal line. It'll be second down in 10. Trying to hook up with Jordan DeRozier's down there. Now, if Franklin Tech hangs on to defeat Greenfield and they lead 26-14, so they're up by 12 in the second, I'm guessing they're in the fourth quarter by now, they will have a perfect 3-0 record against Greenfield all time. Now, again, that's not much history, but Greenfield's never defeated Franklin Tech. They yeah. lost to him last year, lost to him a few years ago. I have to be honest, I would have thought Greenfield held serve tonight from what we've seen so far this year, but Franklin Tech come up with a big effort and they lead late there in Greenfield. Fake it to Gareppi. Back to pass, throwing deep on the left side. Got He's got his man in the end zone. Touchdown. Hooked up Charlie with Charlie Barnes. 41-26. Scoreboard getting a workout here. 155 yards through the air now for Sam Paul. He's completed six of his 14 passes. That's his second touchdown pass of the game. And the Mahar Senator is just not going away in this one. We keep wanting to say this is over, but... Two-point conversion away here. We're looking at 41-28. two-point conversion. So a 13-point spread. We still have six minutes to go here. Nice job by the Senators on this game, not giving up on this. Yeah, Sam Paul's legit. I can tell you that. He will roll to the right, and he floats it over there. It is caught for the two-point two conversion. conversion. Hugo good. Frost. Made some easy throws on that drive. Timeout. 6.07 to play in the football game. Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 41, Mahar 28. Senators 28. All right, we're expecting an onside kick here now from Nick Sharp of Mahar. Has a teed up on the 40. Needs to go 10 yards as they're now back to within 13 points. As Sean mentioned, they're just kind of sticking around here. Here comes Sharp. Squibs. Good kick. It's free. It's free ball. Free. Oh, it's still free. Who came up with it? Wordly Looks as though Wordly uh, came Hawks. up with it for the Red Hawks. He did. Well, that was what the Senators had to do there. We were just talking a little bit during the commercial, and they've really had a hard time stopping this Red Hawk offense here in the second half. So, uh, you know, kick it deep and hope your defense can stop them. That wasn't the plan it was the onside and try to get it back and now you got to depend on your defense and hope you can stop them six minutes to play red hawks seemingly will just run the ball hildreth's only throw the ball five times tonight as it is first down and ten the pitch will go it's going to go to aaron landry or just first do down and more to the 30 still going cuts back Caught from behind at the 25-yard line, a quick 30-yard run right there. 16 carries, 205 yards for Aaron Landry. 205 for him and 168 for Worley. 370. Man, that's whew. 373. 373 yards yeah, on the ground between pretty those Pretty close to what they did men. last week, 390 a uh, week ago. 390. Well, actually, uh, Hildreth's got nine on the ground, too, so. Wow. Yeah, they're right there. That's a lot of yards. They are amazing. These teams just going up and down the field on each other. Maher, hey, they could say they've scored 28 points, and now a big loss. So take a few away from Wordley. He took the pitch and then tried to cut it back and lost his footing. That's going to go for a loss back outside the 25-yard line. Yeah, he still had an okay night. You know, five TDs. Yeah, I mean, not, not you know, bad. Yeah, he mean he lost five yards on that play, but. <laughs> make, him, make him run an extra lap at practice. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, what were you doing? <laughs> 162 yards and five touchdowns He's for Stephen Worthy in this game. He's a heck of a night. Yep. Yeah. It'll be Steve. He'll hand it to Aaron. And Aaron's got the first down. And Aaron has oh, so inside close. the five. He nearly scored. He's down at the three-yard line. So they're knocking on the door yet again. 
Another My goodness. Yards. How many yards is that? Another 15, 16 yards for Landry. He went to the three, so, yeah. 221. 440 to play in Frontier looking to <laughs> tack on another score to officially. Have we ever seen anybody other than Peter Bergeron score six touchdowns in a game? I think we've seen five touchdown games. It seems to me if we went back, yes. we would find maybe one or two. I remember a six yeah, or seven touchdown I, effort. I, I want to say may, maybe Matty Z. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, Mohawk, he had a five. He yeah, had a night. yeah, Weaver might have had one of those too where he had five. I don't know, six yeah. though. I don't know. There it is. Pitch. No, this is actually Landry. Yep. Aaron turns the corner. Landry. Ducking did not quite get in. He got down to the two. Out of bounds. 4.06 4 to play in the game. Aaron Landry does have one touchdown in this game. But 223 yards on the ground. 19 carries. Do they go to Worthley for the six? Yeah, it's a, uh, the double hat trick there, I guess, right? It's, uh, yeah. You get three, you get three more. He's got five now. Yeah, the game we're referring to, Peter Bergeron, in early November of 1995, scored six touchdowns against Long Meadow. The last one with uh, just a few ticks left to win the game 42-37. to 37. Unbelievable. And it's going to be Landry, and Aaron he Landry, glued, glides into the end touchdown. zone, made it too easy. Touchdown, Frontier, 47-28. 225 yards, a pair of touchdowns for Aaron Landry, and Stephen Worthy, his backfield mate, 162 yards for that young man, 17 carries, but he's found the end zone five times, so seven rushing touchdowns now for the Red Hawks tonight. They've scored 47 points. And see if they line up to go for the two here. Make it an even, uh, well, that'd be 40, uh, 49 now with the two point conversion. They're up 47 28 right now. They will go for two. And gliding into the end zone, it's really easy. Wordly, the two point conversion is good. Three minutes, 46 seconds left to play in the football game. Now, the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 49, Mahar 28. At Frontier Regional, we're down to 3:46 to play. Frontier now back up by 21 points, and the kick is short and jumped down by one of the Mahar upmen at the 38-yard line. And the Franklin Tech Eagles are now pulling away from the Greenfield Green Wave at Dutz Field. Delega touchdown run, 20 yards, 32-14, with just over two minutes to go at Vets Field against Greenfield, so they Franklin are, Tech. Franklin Tech will go to two and two. Greenfield will fall to three and one. It's, <laughs> this league race is going to be crazy once we get into uh, October here. I mean, the postseason possibilities, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of teams that, uh, you know, as long as these teams that uh, keep getting their first loss of the year, it's gonna keep a lot of other teams that uh, have two losses in the race. Well, we had said, you know, two losses is really, it's kind of tough to make the playoffs. You know, somebody's probably gonna run the table or at least only lose one game, but you could have a couple of teams with two losses in this year, who knows? On first down, back to pass. Paul dumps it off, gets it to Drew. Oh, he's wide open. He has it in frontier territory inside the 30. Cuts back, still going inside the 25 yard line, down to the 20. 20, 30, 42. 42 more yards for Sam Paul through the air. So he's up close to two bills now, right? Are you thinking that they wish they had started passing a little bit earlier in this game? Well, it's working. 197 <laughs> yards through wow. the air now for the Sam Paul. High school Paul. level, that's, a, that's extraordinary. Seven 15, so good numbers there as well. He's made some strong throws, and I don't know if Frontier's defense is, uh, looks like all the starters still in there, or they're throwing against some kids that don't normally play, but he's making some pretty good passes and making it look easy right now. Sam Paul rolling to the right, throws, led Frost a little bit too far, would have been good for about seven or eight yards on the right side, but the clock is out, 2.59 to play. Yeah, Maher's going to lose this game, but uh, they are showing they are showing that they can really get it done now offensively. Uh, again, they came out, scored the first touchdown of the game, and then all of a sudden they were down by a couple, three scores. And again, a nice job just to keep in this game and battle back. And again, we look up at the scoreboard, you've given up 49 points, but they're not giving up on the field right now. Three minutes to go, down by 21. Hey, still fighting. 49-28, Frontier in the lead. Sam Paul will take a straight drop, looking to the right. Floats out to the right now. Zips it late. Gads his man on the right side. 
DeRozier's into the end zone for another touchdown. DeRozier for a Senator touchdown. You know, I'll tell you what, that DeRozier right there, that was fantastic because the linebackers had done a nice job covering everybody downfield. There was nobody open for Sam Paul. As he rolled to the right, he sees DeRozier's who sat down, but that would not have been enough for the first down. Instead, DeRozier's peeled off, and Sam Paul knew exactly what he was going to do and hit him downfield right into the corner of the end zone. So 49-34 now, Frontier. They will go for two. And they gave it to Senny, but the play was whistled yeah, dead. Obviously a flag, the and that will go against Marr. They'll spot him back five yards. Oh, they're pushing. They, he just pointed against Frontier. Okay, there you go. The other way. Yep, it right. was against the Senators. So it takes it back to the seven-yard line. Just the second penalty of the game against Mahar. Two penalties, just 10 yards for them. Well, if they get the two, they'll be within 13. Yeah. With 2.49 to play, onside. <laughs> no, they can't come back, can they? Die, 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 die. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes, maybe, I don't know. Let's see what they do here. Looks like they're gonna pass for the two. No, nope, they gave it to DeRozier's and he slipped as he tried to make his cut. Now, obviously, there's condensation on the field. It's uh, getting a little slick out there. 2.49 to play in the football game. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, Frontier 49, Mahar 34. High school football here on WPVQ, WPVQ HD, Bear Country 95.3, top of the hour. And we have had 12 touchdowns in this football game. A lot of points. Would you say 83 points? Yeah. Well, they tried an onside kick, but it went out of bounds, didn't go far enough, so they're gonna they flag the Senators. Let me see if I got that. I just asked uh, the athletic director, Marty Sanderson, if he turned the heat on in here, and he uh, pointed to the nearest light bulb, and said that's about the only heat source I'm gonna, is it, you got anything? A little warm? Yeah, it's cold, man. I might go stand next to that. Let's see, touchdowns by Senny. Worthley, 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 Landry, Paul, Worthley, Frost, Worthley, Barnes, Landry, DeRozier's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve touchdowns in this football game. Once in a while, Sean, we get a game where, the t where a team wins six to nothing. That was not going to happen tonight. Well, you <laughs> said the uh, scoreboard was going to get a workout, and you felt the home side in particular. The Maher Senators have. Hold up their side of the market. They though. really have. I tell you, they they are they are a team to be dealt with. I mean, they're only going to be one and three after tonight, but not a bad football team. Here's Matt Hildreth, the quarterback on a keeper, brings it inside the Flag. thirty. Flag down. What is wrong with this thing? Is happening right now. <laughs> and dropping my well, what what it is? It's we have a narrow surface here. I've got a full sized clipboard and it's longer than the uh, than the desk here. Well speaking of clips that's going to be the call right here it's going to be a 15 yard and chop block. Yep and the uh, the surface here is on an angle that goes down so I've <laughs> dropped it four times tonight. Driving everybody here on the booth crazy mostly you. Uh, no I'm good man it's uh, no I, I picked it up <laughs> twice I'm not picking it up again so if you drop it just uh, you're on your own that's all. 15-yard penalty there, 65 yards now, and penalties against the Red Hawks tonight. Six flags, 65 yards. People in the stands in front of me are wondering, what is my deal? What is wrong with that guy? guy? What is wrong with that guy? Dropping stuff. Well, it's getting cold. I mean, uh, yeah. I just can't believe how quickly it shifted. It, within Flat. 10 minutes, all of a sudden, I went from very comfortable to kind of just kind of chilly. All right. Back to pass on first down and 20. Hildreth passes out. It is caught on the left side to Worthley. There he goes again out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Sean, for a brief moment, I thought he was gone on a 55-yard touchdown reception. Hildreth almost had his first touchdown pass of the game. He'd only completed one pass up till then. He was one for five. And a big chunk there, about, about 30 yards. So that'll increase the numbers there for the young quarterback. And just a junior, 5'7", 150 pounds. Two of six passing, 42 yards. He has been picked off twice in this game, but I, I know one was a definite deflection. It was a ball that got actually deflected by the defender and into his, uh, his own teammate's hands. So really, that one could have gone either way, but two interceptions tonight for Hildreth. Hildreth will take it himself on the right Hildreth side, knocked out of bounds at around the 10-yard line. 
stayed in bounds. We're down to 122 to play. So our post-game show is coming up, including our player of the game. Yeah, and honestly here, Jeff, if the uh, Mahar Senators aren't going to use their timeouts to try to stop the clock, I would assume the Red Hawks here will just take a knee rather than run a play. Clock under a minute now, still rolling. I don't know, Sean. I uh, would not be surprised if they, you know, they're going to run a play. To Landry. Aaron Landry. Bounces to the outside, turns the corner. He's going to try to get into the end zone. And did touchdown. he get in? Yep. He did. 10-yard touchdown run by Landry with 39 Landry. seconds left. So no knee. Instead, touchdown. 55-34. Third touchdown run for Aaron Landry. How far was that one? That was uh, 10 yards. 10, all right. So 235 yards for him. Uh, I'm taking a knee. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah you, won, you won the game. Yeah, no, the Senators, again, they weren't using their timeout. So uh, it was third down. You could have taken a knee and run that thing right down. And uh, instead, they decided to run a play. And uh, Senators just not able to stop it. 55 so now. They 34. will kick here. Wordley will Watch hold for Hildreth. Hildreth was perfect a uh, couple of touchdowns ago. And this kick is up. And this one is good as well. We'll take a, one more time out here. 39 seconds left to play. Carquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It's Frontier 56, Mahar 34. Back in the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast booth in South Deerfield. I'll tell you what, Sean. Well, I'll make this point here in a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advance us into winter here in a second. Here's the kick, just a ground ball. DeRozier's from his 30, fakes it to Gareppi. He'll take it himself. And he is down at the 33-yard line. All right, let's pretend that it's December or January. There's going to be basketball games in the Hampshire League this winter where the final score might be something like 56 to 34. That is a lot of points, yes. 90 they, points. We're getting close to a basketball score yeah. here, folks. And I tell you what, with 32 seconds left in the game, don't be surprised if you see Sam Paul Irwin out here, maybe to Frost. Uh, he's thrown the ball extremely well here in the second half. Maybe he'll look for Frost, maybe to Charlie Barnes, who scored a little while ago. Tough to score 34 points and lose like that. There it is. 56, though. Wow. There, there are going to be basketball games this winter where not this many points have been scored between the two teams. This has been an amazing night. 13 touchdowns. All right, taking off. Getting away is Paul, keeping the play alive, and he's going to run out of bounds up at the 37-yard line. Brandon Treswell. 28 yards on five carries for court, the quarterback, Sam Paul, along with the... Uh, and Over 200 yards passing. Probably not getting out of the play. I thought he got out of bounds, but he did not. So that is going to do it, I appear. That will do it. Yeah. Final score here in South Deerfield on the car crest of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 56, the Mahar Senators 34. Stay tuned. Our postgame show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Football Post Game Report here on Bear Country 95.3. Final score here tonight, the Frontier Red Hawks 56, the Mahar Senators 34. Jeff and Sean here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance booth. Hey, Dave Marty. Reno. Marty's here too. Studios, Marty hey, Sanderson, Marty. our Frontier Athletic Director. 90 points scored here tonight, Sean. And that, that Frontier offense uh, exclusively on the ground, virtually exclusively on the ground. Man, they are uh, unbelievably tough to deal with. It, well, and it, here's the thing, though. You know, the Senators came out and they really tried to establish the, the ground game, and they did to some extent. But then in the second half, when they started to throw the ball, they really had some success. They were onto something there. And I'm thinking the Senators probably wish they'd thrown a little more in the first half. But still, uh, the Red Hawks. It was just too much. It was just you know, again, when you got Landry going one way, Wordley going the other way. Bryce Dolby sitting on the bench. He didn't even play, but he had one carry. And that was, you know, again, one of those three guys that we said any one of these guys can have a big game. Well, two of them did. Uh, you know, Landry over uh, 200 yards again.
couple touchdowns, three touchdowns for him. And, of course, uh, Wordley ends up with, uh, what do we got here, about 162 yards for him and five touchdowns. So just big nights. Uh, again, you know, block, they run, uh, they're tough. And when you score 56 points, you're not going to lose many ball games. And on the other side, a great performance by quarterback Sam Paul of the Mahar Senators. Three touchdown passes to three different receivers. He hooked up with Frost, with Barnes, and with DeRosiers. He also ran in for a touchdown and ran in the conversion on the first touchdown. So Sam Paul, I mean, he got overshadowed by this Frontier team, but what a football player he is. He looked good, and he got stronger as the game went on. And again, as in, you know, later in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, he started chucking it around a little bit more, and he's going to end up having completed, let's see, eight of his 16 passes. So, uh, excuse me, eight of 17 I've got him for. So about half of his passes he completed, and he's over 200 yards passing. Like you said, the three touchdowns. I uh, got sacked once. That was a big 19-yard loss on a sack by the Red Hawks. The only sack they got on Sam Paul. And again, look at the running game. It was Senny, really, that was kind of the stronger of the two runners. He had 10 carries, 38 yards. He had the touchdown on that opening drive. John Gareppi, 14 carries and just 45 yards. So, again, that was kind of the key was the Red Hawks able to stop that running game, cause Sam Paul to throw the ball, and they had some success, but not quite enough. Again, when you give up 56 points, 34 is a lot to score, but you can't give up 56. 56-34 56, again. Our final time now for the player of the game. And again, our player of the game is brought to you by Kobe Hibachi Grill in Greenfield. Greenfield Savings Bank, Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, Shelburne Falls, Attorney Leah Phillips, c and Repair and Equipment, and Regary Real Estate. Uh, it's going to come from Frontier, obviously. The easy call, of course, would be Worthley with the five touchdowns. Which way are you going? I know. I was just thinking that, too. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Landry, uh, again, 230-some-odd yards, three touchdowns for him. But honestly, Jeff, could you ever have a kid walk up to you and say, hey, so, uh, excuse me, I had five touchdowns and I wasn't the player of the game? I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. So, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. there's a couple different things going on here. Worthley, Landry, Landry, Worthley, Worthley, Landry. Stephen Worthley. Land Worthley. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Stephen Worthy. Yeah, let's go that way. Again, Aaron Mann, great game, and uh, yes. I'm sure he'll. Uh, Aaron, he's got a I'm sorry. He's got a couple of the t shirts already, and uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll have another, at least one more coming before yeah. the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, we're going to give this one to Steve Mann. He had a great, a great game, and uh, a five touchdown game just can't be overlooked for player of the game. Final score here for the final time in South Deerfield on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 56 and the Mahar Senators 34. For Sean Hubert, studio producer Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night in bear country, everyone.